What's up, Canada fam? Trav's Dabs here. I'm bopping around dispensary to dispensary because I'm waiting for cookies in Mendocino to open up, man. I'm excited to make my first cookies trip. So I had to stop by another dispo. I stopped at the cookies. Their manager forgot their keys or something, so they're not going to be opening up for another hour. That's okay, man. Just gives me more time to be bop around. So I went to Canavine, which they're real strict about not filming in the dispensary here, which is wild. Kind of the opposite of what I thought. But I picked something up real quick just to kind of quench my thirst. A little Mary Jones Green Apple Cannabis Infused Soda, man. 10 milligrams of THC in this bad boy. And the nice lady hooked me up with a fat roll, fat pre-roll, gelato hybrid. What are we testing at here? Check out the numbers on this bad boy. About 25% THC. Of course, no CBD at all. But I enjoyed talking to the people here because they're dabbers, and I always love having conversations with dabbers, man. But let's go ahead and crack open this Mary Jones and see what we're working with before we head back over to see if Mendocino's cookies is open up yet. Oh, that's dangerous. That tastes like you melted a bunch of the green apple Jolly Ranchers and then added weed to it. Yeah, this is this is lethal. Oh yeah. This is dang shit. All right, let's back up. I'm gonna go find somewhere to smoke. We're gonna blaze a little bit. Then we're gonna head over to Cookies in Mendocino. The ride up to the Cookies dispensary was awesome. Gorgeous drive. So many beautiful valleys, hills. You could see so many different vineyards as you cruise up to the Cookies dispensary. But the light at the end of the tunnel for me was that bright blue building. So I got my stuff together and I headed inside and I wasn't really sure what I was supposed to expect, but I got more than I asked for. It's crazy when I compare side by side with my Maryland experiences because almost every product was sitting out on the floor in some capacity. They had all the products sitting out so you could see what you were looking at. Every single flower was laid out in one of these beautiful little snifter jars, man twisted on the bottom so you can get a good odor from it and a beautiful visibility through the whole thing. No magnification, but not really needed because the bud did itself justice. It was a really cool little system, had those little tethers to pull it back into its uh, designated spot, had tags on to let you know what strain you were looking at. Honestly, one of the coolest flower setups I've ever seen. Of course, I had to head over and take a look at my favorite section, the concentrate section. So they had a lot of their loose packaging, empty packaging for their dabs, bunch of different vapes so you could take a look and see everything. Of course, different strain specific logos laid all around the shop, but it was really cool to just kind of see it as if it were a regular retail store and you could just pick your weed right off the shelf. I already spotted the dabs I knew I was going to be picking up, so the young lady helped me out. What an awesome bud tender. They came over, unlocked the fridge, and grabbed it fresh for me. While I was taking a look at everything else, they got everything piled up front for me. Of course, the drinks, something we do not have enough of in Maryland that I cannot wait to see expand. I loved all the drinks I experienced, man. The dabs, fresh, cold, right in front of you, almost like you could reach out and touch them which is closer than we get really here at most of the dispensaries in Maryland. Another thing I was really impressed by were the edible selection, man. So many different sweet treats you could grab. I had no idea cookies made actual cookies. It was really, really interesting to see. I mean, you couldn't turn around without seeing that beautiful cookies baby blue. Uh, it's just a beautiful experience overall. I got to make my way to some of the other locations so I can see what their layouts look like, see if their selections differ at all because overall this was really cool but it was time to head out and take a look at what we got all right Kenneth, we just got our cookies haul man we took it back to a little less of a uh, hot spot a little too popping over there in the mendocina area man we're back down here in the napa ish area hanging out we've got the little rainy atmosphere but that's okay man i'm excited to break some of this open let's at least take a look and, and see what the hell we even got out of there with well first off i love this i love that they gave me a keef uh, koozie i don't really drink anymore but i love me the thc infused beverages which i got a couple of while i was there at cookies man which i didn't even know cookies made these but i'm super amped so we got the california lemonade from cookies you can see there 10 milligrams i think 
Did I read it? I don't even know. Yeah, 10 milligrams, nothing too crazy. And then we've got the California iced tea from them as well, man. Also 10 milligrams. Yeah, cookies. We've got the original lemonade and, a, and Georgia pie are the uh, strain flavors we got going on in here, man. They took care of me too. What do we got? Farmer and Felon tray. I didn't get any Farmer and Felon. I've heard lots about them while I've been out here, but we got the rolling tray from Farmer and Felon. That's kind of dope. What is this? Got a patch. Who's that? Sunbright Garden. That's pretty dope. I really took care, man. They hooked it up with the swag, which I thoroughly appreciate. You know, your boy Trav's Dabs, while he was out here, I had to get some something to slob on. We've got the Cheetah Piss Live Resin Batter, which I'm excited to break open. We'll take a look at that shortly. And I know some of my associates are gonna be a little uh, upset with me about this, but I had to cop the Badu. Yeah, I am going to try a pre-roll of the Badu. I wanted to get an eighth. Price point a little high for me as a dabber to really justify buying just an eighth of flour to say I smoked it, but I will buy a pre-roll just to say I smoked it. So we've got the Badu here. You can see kind of a fire tube, man. Shout out to Erica Badu collabing with cookies on this, the first drop out here. All right, let's go find somewhere where we can enjoy ourselves and medicate a little bit. It's funny because I come all the way up here and you know me, I'm just a dabber. I never have a lighter or nothing on me. And of course I had to go spend money on an expensive jar of match matches and not even match book. It's a small jar of like 10 matches. This costs too much, but it's worth it to get that Badu in me. I'm out here at a lovely little park chilling here in Napa Valley. I got some cookies to talk about, man. It's the best place I could find to sit down, get you here, and enjoy some of the cookies products. I actually had to go on a hunt for some matches because your boy didn't bring any lighters because I don't smoke flour, like ever. So why would I bring matches? But we've got some good goodies to give a try to. We've got the cookies tea and a cookies lemonade to drink. I didn't even know cookies made drinks. They had cookies, cookies there too, like cookies, cookies to eat. Buy cookies, awesome. Love that, man. Had to get some dabs. I got the Cheetah Piss Live Resin Batter, which I'm very excited to give a try to. And of course, I had to pick up the Badu. That Badu, not just any Badu, that Badu, man. So we've got the couple different things to give a try to. I'm only gonna crack one of the drinks right now. I feel like breaking open the, you know what? We're gonna try the iced tea. That's what we're gonna have to go to. The Georgia Pie Strain Specific Iced Tea. I'm gonna take a dab, then we'll smoke that Badu. Let's see how we feel, man. Let's, uh, let's get this bad boy cracked open. Easy peasy, 10 milligram drink. I mean, that's a peach tea. That's a peach tea. When you're from Carroll County, you drink a lot of tea. It's pretty solid. Only a little bit of weedy flavor. Again, it's only 10 milligrams, it's not a ton. It's not much that's gonna like, I gotta fry most of the most of the edible consumers that prefer edibles as their main consumption method. But you know me, ten milligrams is a really nice starting point, and it's something that I would sip on, drink, drink, drink. You know, a couple different drinks. This kind of gets me back into that drinking kind of muscle memory that I like without the drunkness, which I don't like. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, we need these out in Maryland ASAP. I don't care, honestly. What tried low high five? We've tried a couple different brands. And, and cookies, another top tier quality brand that I'm definitely by no means upset about. Got the Stash Logic bag in the lap if you can't see that right now. I'm gonna load up some of this cheetah piss in here because that's the, the next thing I want to give a try to. I really want to see the quality of the dabs out this way. As far as cookies is concerned, you know, I mean, I've had, I've had a couple different dabs, actually, scoop some other dabs, which will that'll be its own little video if it isn't already its own video. But damn, you can see the clarity, that nice yellow opaque color in there oh and the turp smell is nuts that is man okay so i didn't bother grabbing any of the uh cookies dabs in maryland because i just didn't feel i don't know it's just gonna be some good dabs i'm not saying it was gonna be bad but i didn't think it was gonna live up to the hype but the price point out here makes it almost impossible not to scoop. Like, why would I not add this into my repertoire 
of dabs. All right, load it up in there. I lost the top, oh, nope, found it. Get the top screwed on, the interior part of the pen, the cap put on. This is nice. It's a lovely little park, I'm not gonna lie. I'm glad I found this to, to be able to medicate. Uh, we got the rental, so I'm not smoking in the car. Uh, and we're out of the hotel right now, so I'm bebopping around, man. All right, let's take a couple rips on the Yokan Cubex of the Cheetah Piss from Cookies. I just want to take a look and see what the melt looks like on the inside. Oh yeah. See, this is this is going away the way I like it to. It's pooling nicely. It's puddling up. It's got that turp profile. Expect. Oh, let me get. I need another rip before I finish. Yeah, man. <coughs> The flavor on this is top tier quality. I really enjoy the profile of Cheetah Piss. It's rare we get it in its best form, you know, possible. I think it's only out in Maryland for a little bit. Um, I really don't see it too much anymore, but that slaps, man. That is a fantastic rip to it. I can feel it right behind my eyes. I'm nice and medicated in that cool calming sense. I'm not, I'm not zooted and uncomfortable. Yeah, they had a lot of diamonds to choose from, but of course I went with the live resin batter what I prefer to medicate with and I'm very pleased with that man yeah this is this is fantastic the dabs out here have not disappointed me I'll be honest there's a few hyped brands that I have been they didn't live up to the name so I'm happy to see cookies actually give me I don't know for lack of a better term a cookies experience if that makes sense you know what I mean people gas up cookies all the time but does it deliver not every time not every time at all all right, start of the show. What we're here for, that Badu, man. I got a pre-roll. Like I said, I didn't feel like getting a whole eighth because I'm not going to smoke an entire eighth. Um, yeah, not that I can't. Just that I'm not here for that long. I'm going to immediately, as soon as this pre-roll is done, I'm going to take another dab. But I want to see what that Badu is all about, man. So let's pop the tube and see what we're working with. Fresh pop. Ready? Oh. Woo. Damn course comes in a vibes paper naturally a nice nose to it off the rip I mean as soon as I pop the top I get a really nice smell I mean it's obviously got that herbaceous I'd say this has like a little zesty punch to it a little citrusy but it's heavier than that it's got like a depth to the flavor like a more kind of peppery uh just more floral I guess is a good way to say it it's not just like sweet for sweet sake that has that dank, weedy, like undertone to it, but it, it, it comes off very sweet. And I feel like there's there's something in there about Erica Badu specifically as to why that parallel is perfect, but we're gonna push past that because I don't know her well enough, man. I'm gonna spark this J with the really expensive matches I had to struggle to find, but we got something to light up because I guess nobody out here in the Napa Valley smokes like that, but I'm sitting here at this park and I'm gonna smoke. All right, we wasted one of the really expensive matches. Two, we gotta get a third one.
and we're finally lit. I got a canoe in a little bit, so don't mind the light. That's on me. It's got a nice little res run to it. Clean ash on it. And the hits are really nice. It smokes smooth. It doesn't have me choked up or coughing or dying or nothing like that. Yeah, no, this is, I'm thoroughly impressed. You know me, I'm not a flower guy. I don't really buy much, if any. Uh, bud ever and when I do it is it has become often pre-rolls just because it's easier than me buying an eighth smoking a J and then having that J that rest of that eighth sit on the shelf and collect us while I dab and dab and dab you know what I mean so it doesn't really make sense for someone like myself but I tell you if these Badu genetics make their way out to Maryland it's it I'm gonna need to see quality come out of whatever grower decides to pursue because this is it's just solid, man. I can see why why Burner and Erica were hyping this up. I want to say this is one of my nah, not my first time, but I rarely smoke Vibes vapors. Okay, it's clean. It doesn't have much of a flavor, which is what I want. I don't want my paper to do anything to the bud. I want it to barely be there, just as a transportation device, essentially. Oh yeah. I tell you, I did not think the cookies dispensary trip was gonna give me what I wanted. I didn't I think I thought it was gonna let me down, but I gotta say it's actually been the most pleasant experience I've had so far. I filmed they let me film the most I could film in there. It's only a hand like two workers chilling in there. Um, so I wasn't all up in their business, man, but they let me take a look at everything. I love the products all out on the floor. I get that it's all different than the MMCC in Maryland that we have to deal with, but it was a re it's a really cool experience, man. This was a really cool trip out to Cali. We're talking about a few more products from California. I'm, I'm sure I'll post some some videos later talking about, you know, my compared experiences of, of living in Maryland versus just a couple of days out here. But I'm impressed, man. Cali folks do it right. I just need to see you guys get your terpy knowledge down pat then we'll be able to then we'll be on the same page man but this is really dope having a great time all right this is trev from the future interrupting before we wrap up this video that was one of the most pleasurable joints i think i may have ever smoked in my life mind you i'm already fried i've been dabbing all day I've been ripping the pen i've been eating edibles i've been smacked that joint put me in a beautiful place, man. I feel so clean, cool, calm, collected, relaxed, medicated. Just it took it up this little nth degree, just this little, whoop, just this little, little, whoop, just uh, dude. I'm thoroughly impressed. I'm sure if I maybe if I read the packaging, I'd see more about what the genetics are, but holy shit. I almost wish I'd have copped an eighth. I know I wouldn't do it justice because I'd want to smoke through it too fast. Once the Badu dabs come out, your boy is on top of that, man. Fuck. I'm the, yo, cookies, you guys are, you guys are going nuts. Out here in Cali, it's the real deal. I highly recommend the Canna fam making their way out here and trying that Badu because that Badu is that Badu, man. Sheesh. Flavors fantastic, beautiful notes of citrus, beautiful floral flavors too. It's clean, it doesn't crush the throat. I didn't cough once, not a single time. Um, yeah, I don't normally gas up bud. I think I'm last time I kind of felt this way was like about that KK in Maryland. And shit, this puts that to shame. This Badu is fantastic. Like I said, only like I think like 25, 26% testing, nothing crazy but absolutely medicating. God, I am pleased. All right, all right, back to the video. Let's let future, let's let Trav from whenever wrap up this video and, and, and let you 
let you guys get out of here because I could sit all day here and just say, God damn, that Badu is good. Check out more content coming from Trav's dad. Just continue the Cali scene, continue talking about Cali cannabis, continue to talk about cannabis in general, man, because... Sorry, I couldn't let that go out. I can't waste any more matches, man. Because I love seeing what's out there, man. I love seeing how the 50 states are medicating. You guys know the drill. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button down below. Drop a comment. Let me know what you've tried when you were out here in Cali. Do you like cookies as well? Hit that subscribe button. Hit the notification bell to stay up to date on everything. Travis Dabs. Saved it. Otherwise, guys, this has been Trav or Travis Dabs and Erica Badu's joints. Happy elevating.